What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Everybody watching probably understands that dieting, losing weight, and fast food really aren't ever used in the same sentence. Which is a shame because some of my favorite stuff is from those restaurants. But if I'm trying to show up at the beach this summer looking lean and mean, then I got to take my diet into my own hands. But there's no reason we can't eat delicious food. So today we're taking on one of the most infamous sandwiches in the entire world. Yes, we are going to make an anabolic filet of fish sandwich. Not only do I I guarantee that this tastes better than what you would actually get from McDonald's. The fact that it's loaded down with protein and will still fit into your diet is just icing on the anabolic cake. And if you get triggered by words like cake, pizza, donuts, fried chicken, then I guess we both have some common ground. But I'm not telling you you can't eat that stuff. I'm telling you, if you get my cookbook available at the first link in the description box, you're still gonna be eating all your favorite foods. You're just gonna be making the better choices. The more anabolic, higher protein, lower calorie alternatives, it'll fit right into your diet so you can stay lean and mean. Link down below in my description if you grab this, I promise you won't regret it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are ready to another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! I'm telling you guys, even if you aren't traditionally a fan of fish, you try this sandwich, it's gonna change your anabolic mind. What we got here is a bag of frozen cod. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Now, contrary to what some of y'all may think, there's quite a lot of different fish in the sea. Who knew? Some fish has an overwhelmingly fishy flavor, think tilapia, think salmon, and some fish almost taste like chicken, and that's where cod comes into play. I don't recommend using anything else for this recipe. And my favorite thing about cod is that it's just like egg whites, and it's basically pure protein with no fat. I was trying to get a clean clip and I was going to rip that off all the way through during that sentence, but you know, win some, you lose some. Now, if we pull one of these out of here, you'll see it's frozen solid. Definitely can't make it right now. And it's also vacuum sealed. I love to buy fish this way because if you buy it fresh and just put it in your fridge, it's going to go bad in a couple days. This way, you're going to have this forever until you want it. Plus, thawing it is super easy. All you got to do is take this little vacuum sealed pack, put it in your fridge the night before you want to eat it. The next morning, it's going to be thawed and ready to use all day. So, we'll actually have other packs in the fridge right now. Boom, just like this, I put it out last night. So it should be ready to go for the video. And prepping this fish is actually gonna be really easy. The best part is all these frozen fillets are weighed out to 168 grams, so we can kind of skip the scale on this one, which will save us a little time and get us to this sandwich even sooner. And then once we got it out, what we wanna do is take some paper towels and dab it. You're gonna see, look at that moisture right there. Since it was frozen, it's gonna hold water and fish in general holds a lot of water. So we wanna pat this as dry as we can. This might take a couple paper towels, but I'm telling you, the drier we get it, the better off we're all gonna anabolically be. Now that we got it dried off, let me show you the easiest hack for making a crispy breading on just about anything you're making. All we're gonna need is the assistance of some panko breadcrumbs. And if you're not quite sure what a panko breadcrumb is, let me show you. They are Japanese style breadcrumbs. Let me pour some in my hand right here, see if we can do this. Okay, I'm hoping that's focused and you can see that, but it's basically a puffed breadcrumb that's rather crispy and rather lightweight. That means we get more breading, more crisp, more crunchy for less calories. So in a small bowl, I'm gonna weigh out 15 grams. And then all I wanna do now is toss this in a blender just to get this down to a fine powder. This is absolutely not necessary, but if we're trying to recreate the filet of fish in the most authentic way possible, I recommend you do this. But if not, you know I mean, you don't gotta. We'll just pour it down in there, toss the lid on, and then literally we only gotta blend this for like 20 seconds. And check it out. That is just how we want it. And now to bread our cod, I'm gonna do a couple little things here. I'm gonna take this and transfer it to a large mixing bowl. I'm gonna add about a dash of kosher salt. I'll shake her up a little bit, get everything mixed. And boom, literally for the breading, that's all we gotta do. And check it out, this is really simple. I'm gonna grab a small bowl and I'm gonna pour some liquid egg beaters down in here as a wash. I recommend using egg beaters, although you can use egg whites, but egg beaters, same macros as egg whites, pure protein, but whatever they're doing to make it look like real eggs, makes it a little stickier, and I find you get a better end product. Now let me show you just how easy this is. We take our fish, drop it down in the egg beaters. I'm gonna submerge it for a little bit. Might count to like 15 or so. Refresh Twitter and get angry. And then once the unspecified amount of time has elapsed, I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna let any of the extra kind of drip off. And once we're good on that end, I'm just gonna sit it down in the bread bowl. And then from here, just like my booty in college, I'm gonna do a little shaking. Don't shake too much though, that's a macro aggression in 2022. And after that little bit of shaking, I guarantee 
guarantee the bottom of this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip her over. Boom, would you look at that. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the bottom and boom, all our breading is used up and this thing is ready to go. And at this point in the recipe, if you're making this at home, you would toss this in the air fryer right now. You would do everything I'm about to show you while it was cooking. You would be being time efficient. Some of y'all could use a lesson in that. But since I'm making a video and I want you guys to have an amazing experience, I don't want that noise going on in the background. So for now, we're gonna sit this off to the side and now we're gonna get to making our healthy tartar sauce. As some of you may or may not know, tartar sauce is one of the most unhealthiest sauces you can eat. But don't you guys worry, with this little hack, you're gonna get all the flavor, all the fishy antics without all those dang calories. I'm gonna start by weighing out 30 grams of light Miracle Whip in a small bowl. And we're gonna pair this with another 30 grams of pickle relish. Just toss that right down in there. And then to give it that zesty tartar sauce kick, we're gonna add about two grams of lemon juice. If you like your stuff really lemony, feel free to add more. And before we get to frying this fish, we gotta talk about a couple more things. We gotta talk about the cheese, and we gotta talk about the buns. Now, when it comes to putting cheese on a sandwich, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm using fat-free American. 30 calories a slice, five grams of protein, you can't lose that way. And as far as buns go, I personally love potato rolls. I think they're soft, they're moist, perfect for a sandwich, they're inexpensive, and best of all, it's only 130 calories for one of these buns. And finally, we are back to the fish. So I have my air fryer right here. As long as you have a basket air fryer, or really an air fryer of any sort. This should work just fine. I'm using the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. I think Ninja's got some of the best products. This exact model and my blender, I linked in my description if you wanna see the exact ones. So all I'm gonna do is remove the fish from the bowl, sit it down in the air fryer. And then what I'm gonna do is grab some nonstick cooking spray and I'm gonna give this a light little spray. It's gonna help everything get a little crispier, but it's not necessary to do. Then all we're gonna do now is air fry this at 400 degrees for about 12 to 16 minutes. Since I have it set on 12, I'm gonna take it back to six because I do wanna flip it halfway through. Not a necessity, but you'll get an overall crispier product if you do that. Close the lid and I'll see you guys on the other side. And while we're waiting on the fish, I'm a little hungry. I need something to hold me over till the big meal. So let me show you my secret stash. Just get in here. Nice and perfect. I'm gonna need me one of these. Check it out, baby. It's that new milk chocolate peanut butter and jelly Anabar. Covered in that milk chocolate, soft cookie-like texture on the middle, 21 grams of protein. Hands down, the best tasting protein bar on the market. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Look at that right there. Soft, chewy, literally has got the texture of a baked good. If you need a snack between anabolic meals while you're following this diet that's gonna taste amazing, like the recipes, but still get that protein in, check out Anabar at finalbossperformance.com. When you use code RJF10, you're gonna save some money and you're gonna be ordering the best tasting protein bar on the market. Literally, it's like a candy bar, but we got protein in there somehow. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the fish. Here we go, guys. Check out this fish. It's crispy all the way around, got a nice breading, and it cooked so well that it even busted open up top. All I'm gonna do, take my bottom bun, piece of fat-free American cheese, sit our fish filet right here, then now I'm just gonna take my top bun and spread our tartar sauce all over it. Keep in mind, we have a ton of this sauce. I included that in the recipe because personally, I'm an extra sauce type of guy. Even in the bedroom, I raise my hand and ask for more sauce. And then finally, all we gotta do is place that top bun on. And here we go, folks. I present to you the anime McDonald's filet of fish sandwich. This is what the filet of fish would look like if McDonald's actually gave a damn about your health. We got that fresh and crispy breaded cod. We got our cheese on there. We got the homemade tartar sauce all squeezed between a soft bun. I'ma say it till I'm blue in the face. The number one thing holding people back when it comes to having their dream body is that they just simply do not have their diet in check. I'm telling you, you make these recipes, you eat them, you incorporate them into your day to day, you'll be stripping off that shirt or wearing a thong bikini at the beach in no time. All right guys, if you could do me a solid and smash that thumbs up button right now, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out more than you know. If you literally just come to the video and get into the habit of clicking it, just make it something you do, that'd make me and uh, my puppy Logan really happy. Comment what fast food machinations you wanna see me whip up on the channel and hit me with a subscribe if you're not subscribed. Now, before this fish gets cold, let's go give her a whirl. It is 
is chow time. But before I take a bite into this, I wanna say thank you to everybody that supported the Young LA Apparel launch that just happened. By the time this video comes out, you should've gotten your stuff, and I know you're gonna love it. In today's video, everything I'm wearing head to toe is Young LA, other than my underwear. I'm not wearing underwear. This right here is the perfect t-shirt. I'm actually wearing it in the scoop bottom. They also make it in a flat bottom as well, if you're not trying to be too stylish. And I'm also rocking the perfect joggers, which are perfect for any occasion. You got two wallet pockets in the back, you got two pockets on the side, you got a cargo pouch down bottom, and they're super comfy and everything fits so well. These plain perfect tees, look at this. It's a little fitted up top to show off those muscular gains you're making while still keeping it loose and casual down bottom. You don't look like a guy trying to squeeze into a medium when you should have a larger on. So check out youngla.com. It helps the channel and I'm telling you guys, the apparel is top quality. It's literally all I wear. When you go to youngla.com and use code RJF, you're gonna get a discount and I'm telling you, whatever you get, you are going to absolutely love. All the links are in my description if you wanna check it out. Now, let's get on to this filet of fish. Oh, look at that. I know you clicked on this video because that thumbnail was beautiful and this sandwich looked beautiful. Even if you don't like fish, this thing will take you for a ride. Three, two, one, let go. Mmm, hands down, I'm telling you, this is better than the McDonald's version. The tartar sauce is perfect. The crispy crunch on the fish with the breading, the soft bun. Ooh, wow, and just look at how good that fish cooks in an air fryer, man. If you don't have an air fryer, I'm telling you, it's probably my most used kitchen investment ever. It's super quick when you're making food, gives it that crispy deep fried feeling, game changer. I don't know about you guys, but have you ever eaten a fast food sandwich and you feel like crap afterwards? Yeah, me too. It's Cause it's loaded down with lots of fat, lots of things you don't necessarily need with these recipes. What we're doing the anabolic versions we're eliminating as much of that as possible the stuff that's inflammatory the stuff that's going to make you feel like crap the stuff that's going to keep you hungry so you just want to chain food together and binge eat we're eliminating all that we're still making delicious food and you're going to eat it you're going to feel full and you're not going to feel like crap and seriously life is so much better when you don't feel like crap now in the entire sandwich what we have for the entire thing is only 381 calories five grams of fat we get a whopping 42 grams of protein 42 grams of carbs with two grams of fiber for me right now this fits right in my my diet, 42 grams of protein, only 381 calories. I'm eating roughly right now anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 a day. I'm trying to lean out a tiny bit. I'm going to Vegas in a couple weeks. I'm doing a little bit of a mini cut. And with this, this is literally one out of the five or six meals I'll eat today, plus an Anabar. So life's good if you get what I'm saying. And here we are at last, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the final bite. You know what time it is. Mm. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I know if you try this, you're gonna love it. If you make it, tag me on Instagram and let me know your thoughts. And if you're a part of that Team RJF Cookbook Club, then just know it has been updated. So this recipe is now in there along with every other recipe on the channel. This diet isn't something that's a fad, something that's like gonna blow up for a year and then go away. This is literally a lifestyle. You do this, it's gonna make the whole process way easier. You're gonna love what you're eating. It's hardly gonna feel like you're trying that hard. So link in my description if you wanna check this out. I know if you do, it could literally change your life. Y'all rock, y'all rock. Thank you so much for uh, showing up to the video today. Hopefully y'all are doing well and wonderful. Hopefully those New Year's resolutions are going off without a hitch. I believe it's time for me to bid y'all farewell. So if you can for me, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that stuff is what keeps us afloat here on YouTube. So when you do that stuff at a bare minimum, when you do that, it can literally be all the difference between a video doing pretty good on views, doing terrible, or doing excellent on views. It's all about the interaction. So if you could do that for me, for me, you're boy, I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We out.